Hi there, this is Yana with Port Cosmos again, and today I'm gonna show you how to make a easy, breezy, a beautiful mermaid top. I already started doing some work, um, gluing, a lot of work actually, hot gluing shells onto my bra. A regular t-shirt bra from, um, from Walmart, cost five bucks, I'm like that's, that's the right price for me. If you're stretching something over your body, um, like a lot of, uh, what do you call it, uh, a lot of sports bras are. That is gonna stretch it and it's gonna cause these babies and rhinestones or whatever, which I haven't put on yet, uh, it can cause them to, to fall off. So you wanna get something that's got a connector in the back, like hooks. Get something with hooks in the back, trust me. You'll thank me later. If you try to glue seashells onto something plastic or something really slick, they're just gonna peel off. So uh, definitely get something that is made out of fabric. As you can see, I started off with some larger shells. These ones here, and these are kind of where I base my um, starting point from. And it also helps too, because that way you don't have to put on as many of the teeny tiny shells. And those are the ones that take a long time to apply. Um, for these shells, I, I ended up getting fast at it, but I'm pretty good with a hot glue gun. I've been hot gluing stuff on things for a really long time. So um, if you're just beginning, it might start out a little bit slow and be like, oh my gosh, when is this gonna get done? But don't worry, after a little bit, you'll get you'll get it down and you'll manage not to burn yourself, hopefully. Um, and then for the small shells, you wanna find ones in, I got this bag here and there's great shells in here and I've, I haven't even used I haven't even used like half of them. I've maybe used a third of them. And uh, it they were $5.99 at Michael's Craft Stores. And it's in the floral, home floral section. Um, as far as the larger shells go, I'm trying to remember where I got those. I think I grabbed those um, at the dollar store, actually. Big bags of shells like this, and even um, sp some spiral shells, which I haven't used on this. And then another note, in the little in the bag of the little shells, there are some little cute snail shells. Can you see that right there? Um, when you are gluing those on, you wanna get plenty of glue on there and kinda get, uh, get some of that glue up into the little hole where the snail was uh, because, they're, because they're so rounded that they're gonna be more likely to wanna pop off. So if you can like, kind of scoop some of the glue into there as you're putting it on and then just give it a little press that's going to help them stay on much better but i like these little uh pearls they have a flat back they're they you can get them at michael's i don't remember how much they were like 3.99 something like that but a lot of times you can get them on sale i'll show them up close there's different sizes so uh one thing that i like to do with these is as I am gluing on the little shells, if there is excess glue coming out the sides, you can just take one of these or even like a rhinestone and, and put it on there so that the excess glue isn't gonna show up as much. See, I did that um, I did that here where I got a little too much glue. So I just took advantage of that and stuck some pearls on. I went to Walmart, handy dandy Walmart, and I found this, um, Okay, these are more for like paper crafts, but it doesn't really matter. But they were way cheaper. They're sticky already, but you still have to glue them on, otherwise they're just gonna fall off or pop off. Um, and then I just wanted a little variety of color too, so I got I got some blue, I got some pink, and, and different sizes, um, some purple, and another blue one, because I like the blue. And those were 97 cents a piece.
So I put on some strands of beads. Usually I do not use plastic beads, but because the front of this is so heavy from the shells, I had to use plastic beads. But this is it and it looks fabulous! 